Okay, so this is going to be a quick video, but apparently Mobile Fidelity's records are digital? Now, this would be no issue if they said on their website, hey, we're sourcing these from a digital source, high quality digital source, and we're making them all nice and fancy with our fancy packaging and our fancy mastering, you know, that would not be an issue. But the thing is that, especially with the one steps, because the one steps are supposed to be, they're supposed to be all analog um, remasters from the original master tapes. And I mean, you're paying a hefty price for those, $125. And you're expecting an all analog product. But the thing is that apparently there's a digital process that they do to these one steps. So it's not really a one step, is it? Because there's more than one step to this thing. And I think it's pretty stupid that they do this, well, not the one step, but that they add that digital thing. Well, supposedly they add this digital thing to the records. Now, like I said, this would not be an issue if they went from a digital source. I mean, even some of their records are, the original master is from a digital source, like a digital audio tape. So that's not an issue because that was already expected for it to be a digital record, but I think that they're being really misleading here by not saying anything about this digital process. Now, I watched two videos, uh, one from Mike of the Ingroove and a bit of JC's video um, from the flip side, both great channels, by the way, I'll put the links of their channels in the description, but Mike sent them, an, uh, Mike sent MoFi an email saying, hey, what's up with these records? Are they digitally sourced? Is there a digital process in these records in MoFi? Now, this is not exactly what they said, but they said something like, hey, um, we make our records as best sounding as possible, and we do all this remastering and even the one steps to make them even better. And I just find that, that they just dodged his question and just tried to not answer it directly. Well, they didn't dodge it, but they just didn't answer it truthfully and directly and instead they were just talking about their process which you do that on the website you don't need to put it in the email there you can just just say no we don't do this process or this digital process and if you do just say yes we do this digital process it's just as simple as that you don't need to repeat the same thing you have on your website again now I'm not the type of person to shell out $125 for these mobile fidelity one steps and stuff because I don't have the equipment nor the budget for that, but I understand the frustration because these records are promised to be all analog and directly from the original master tape, so I get the frustration. And um, overall, I think this could be easily fixed if MoFi just says something about it instead of dodging all these questions and even responding to these videos maybe saying something about like hey we forgot to put this or we didn't specify this enough and we apologize some something like that because you can't mislead your customers into doing or into buying something and then saying oh yeah it's all analog when it truly isn't but i don't know maybe i'll take this with a grain of salt and or something because I don't own any mobile fidelity records, like I said, so, I mean, it is sometimes noticeable if there's a digital, like, if the record was cut from a digital file, it is noticeable sometimes, but, like I said before, I just find this a little, a little weird, and I'm just gonna take it with a grain of salt un until there's actual, like, concrete evidence. I mean, Mike had some evidence, but until there's, like, something official, like even someone from the Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab team to say something about this. Thank you all for watching, and I know this video is rushed, and I apologize for that, but the reason why I'm rushing this video is because this information may get outdated very quickly if we get an answer from Mobile Fidelity um, pretty soon, and I also want to get this information as soon as possible to the vinyl community as well as the audio files, and if there is an answer, or if Mobile Fidelity does answer, I will put a pinned comment um, in the comment section below. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.